basically tell me who you are and what you do as a job. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. That's right. My name's Robert Jones, and I uh, yeah, primarily run the kids' literacy and wellbeing program called World of Words, which is uh, www.worldofwords.education. And via that, I've also started a group um, which caters for people perhaps who've got uh, problems of isolation, loneliness, or may have retired, or looking for something to do, which is run every fortnight um, in Tonopandi Library on a Tuesday afternoon. And that, I bring in different guest speakers. We have a talk about local history and events. And that's built up quite nicely until obviously the COVID-19 situation, which has curtailed that. And also curtailed my um, school activity with World of Words at present. Yeah, so um, just tell me a little bit about your walking football scheme and how that's been going along. Yeah, and on top of all that, I do some volunteering and uh, I run, um, I'm involved with the walking rugby scheme, but I actually run walking football scheme, which is um, held on um, the 3G pitch, which is the home of uh, Amber and Clinic Boys Club, uh, Welsh League team. Um, we've got a, an actual futsal pitch to the rear of the main area, which is uh, marked with, with goals and, and uh, it's a fabulous facility with floodlights as well. So at the beginning of 2018, um, I was asked to run a walking football program, which I tried in the day and um, on a weekday, and it wasn't very successful. So we moved it to the evening, and that took a while to build up. <clears throat> and um, since over the course of 2019, it did start to build up, and we had regular numbers. And at the turn of the year then, um, I thought about trying it as well as on a Tuesday evening, 6.30 to 7.30, trying it on a Sunday morning, 11.30 to 12.30, which we did for about five or six weeks. And the good numbers, uh, but again, things were brought to a halt because of the problem, uh, the, the current pandemic. So yeah, so if anyone doesn't know what walking football is, can you like briefly explain the rules of it? And what goes on? Uh, well, that's a very grey area, that is, because um, as regards the rules, um, same with the walking rugby as well. We played in several tournaments of the walking rugby, and each one might have a different set of uh, uh, rules and regulations. With the walking football, we've played several games against other teams, and even though they might be from South Wales, <clears throat> They've got a different uh, set of rules, perhaps, and um, we've entered a competition, and the rules there were different. But ultimately, the people who were uh, adopters about it say, oh, they couldn't stop themselves from running. I would say the walking football, yeah, it's, it's like a glorified uh, or slowed down version of five aside, but enables people. Like myself, I've had 70 operations, um, and perhaps people who are more senior in age and, and looking for a way to come back to fitness um, to, to participate, whereas if it was an open forum for five side um, and they were playing against people who were younger and fitter and perhaps more aggressive um, because they were younger and stronger, um, people perhaps wouldn't want to put themselves into that zone, whereas with the walking football, they can break themselves in gently. <clears throat> and one guy, for example, started at the beginning of the year. He's 64. He's got a 12-year-old son. And he was getting a bit sort of variated because he couldn't join him with his son in various activities because he wasn't fit. He's been coming along since the beginning of the year. And um, he speaks so highly of the, of the sessions um, and what they've done for him. Um, on a variety of grounds, not just uh, physical well-being, but mental well-being, and the fact that he's doing everything, doing something every week, and is up there now from once a week to twice a week. And um, his wife has made comments as well that you know that, that, that there's nothing but good has, has come of all of this. So it's definitely helped different people. So what's the average age and numbers you get in each session? We've had. People come along who are 18, um, 
uh, we have a Christmas, like a Christmas bit of a Christmas gathering, and there's been people, even uh, kids, even younger than that. But uh, ideally, the exercise is pitched at over 50s, even though we have a couple of guys who come along every week who are in their 30s, we've got people who are in their 40s. So there's no age restriction, but I think the walking activities like football and the rugby were aimed at over 50s provisionally. But as I said, you know, anyone's welcome. Um, and that, that means males and females. Uh, one of our best players um, was the only lady present. And unfortunately, she had an injury and, and, and um, doesn't come, hasn't been for a while. But um, yeah, she, she was more than welcome, loved to come in. And um, it, was a, it was a great deal of pleasure when we'd only been playing about six weeks. So we entered... Uh, Welsh Championships down in um, the, the college facilities down on, um, off to, to, to Forest Industrial Estate and we were the only team who had a lady playing so that gave me a great deal of pleasure good, as well. Yeah, yeah. That's good, that is. Um, would you say that since it's obviously it's lockdown and everything have you had meshes from your players saying that they've missed it and why they've been well, actually like, trying to be active? Yeah, I formed a, a messenger page and you know there's, there's sort of daily um connections with a variety of people through that um, you know usually it's like silly jokes or something like that you know because it's, 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 it's mostly blokes you know it's uh, yeah. you know they like, create their common sense sometimes but um, yeah we've kept it going on those grounds and um, I think you know the discussions I've had with you um Ultimately, it just seems a long time ago now, even though it was uh, early March since we've had a session. Yeah. But um, what's, the, what's your future goals for this after, obviously, everything's done with the lockdown and coronavirus and everything? Well, ideally, as I say, the whole facility, the uh, Canberra facility and, and the cafe, which which is also, a, a, um, you know, near the, yeah. the um, ground which which we can use as well and have done if we've, we've made other sides and um, all of that has been closed down at the moment and it, you know it was, it was an area where we've been involved in, in a variety of things over there I was I was there four or five times a week or perhaps even more and um, I can honestly say you know that <laughs> even though it's only stone throw from where I live yeah um, you know, it's become like alien territory now because uh, I say the six weeks, which only dawned on me this morning actually that I was completed a like summer holiday off school. Yeah, now, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's weird. If you say like a I yeah, think. that that just came to me out of the blue. I thought, yeah. like, you know, this week would have been the sixth week, and I would have been going back to school next week after the summer holidays, as opposed to you know being sort of cooped up and uh, catching up with thirty years of housework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what my mum and dad have been doing. They've been trying to keep themselves active and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's brilliant.